Welcome to the Complete Herbal Guide, your number one go-to resource that will assist you and advance you along your journey of achieving health, healing, and well-being that you deserve. Now let's get in today's show with our host, Stacy Chalemi. Today we're going to learn ways you can cure depression naturally. Most people with depression do not seek treatment, although the majority can be helped by a combination of medication, therapy, and natural remedies. The first step is to talk to your doctor. Depression is a serious illness that should not be self-treated. Depression can also be a symptom of another condition, such as hypothyroidism or anemia. If you're currently taking medication for depression, do not stop without consulting your doctor. The first supplement that could be helpful for a cure in depression is St. John's wort. The herb St. John wort has long been used in folk medicine for sadness, worriness, nervousness, and poor sleep. Today, the results of over 20 clinical trials suggest that St. John's wort works better than a placebo and it's effective as antidepressants for mild to moderate depression. With fewer side effects, studies suggest that St. John's wort is not effective for major depression. It's available at health food stores, drug stores, and online in the form of capsules, tablets, liquid extracts, or tea. Some of the precautions that you need to be aware of is that St. John's wort may take four to six weeks to notice the full effects. Side effects may include dizziness, dry mouth, indigestion, and fatigue. St. John's wort increases photosensitivity. So extra caution should be taken to protect the skin and eyes from the sunlight. Although St. John's wort appears to be reasonably safe when taken alone, it can interfere with some of the effectiveness of prescription and over-the-counter drugs such as antidepressants, drugs to treat HIV infections, drugs to prevent organ rejection for transplant patients, and oral contraceptives. St. John's wort is not recommended for pregnant or nursing women, children, or people with bipolar disorder, liver or kidney disease. Another natural supplement that you can use to help with depression is omega-3 fatty acids. Omega-3 fatty acids are a type of good fat needed for normal brain function. Our bodies cannot make omega-3s on their own, so we must obtain them through our diet. Studies have linked depression with low dietary intake of omega-3 fatty acids. In countries with higher fish consumption, such as Japan or Taiwan, the depression rate is 10 times lower than in North America. Postpartum depression is also less common. Studies suggest that omega-3s, together with antidepressants, may be more effective than antidepressants alone. Cold water fish such as salmon, sardines, and anchovies are the richest food source of omega-3 fatty acids. Instead of eating more fish which contains mercury, PCBs, and other chemicals, Try fish oil capsules because they are considered a cleaner source of omega-3s fatty acids. Many companies filter their fish oil so that these chemicals are removed. Fish oil capsules are sold in health food stores, drug stores, and online. Most brands should be stored in the fridge to prevent the oil from going rancid. When comparing brands, the key active components for depression are EPA and DHA. Fish oil capsules may interact with blood thinning drugs such as warfarin and aspirin. Side effects may include indigestion and bleeding. Fish oil should not be taken two weeks before or after surgery. Fish oil can also cause a fishy aftertaste. To prevent this, try taking the fish oil just before meals. Another good supplement for depression is SAMI. SAMI is a chemical that's found naturally in the human body and it's believed to increase levels of neurotransmitters 
serotonin, and dopamine. In North America, SAMI is available as an over-the-counter supplement in health food stores, drug stores, and online. It should be enterocoded for maximum absorption. Although it is one of the more expensive supplements, it remains popular as a remedy for depression. Side effects can include nausea and constipation. Another popular supplement that works well for depression is folic acid. Folic acid is a B vitamin that is also deficient in people who are depressed. Folate is found in green leafy vegetables, fruit, beans, and other fortified grains. It is one of the most common vitamin deficiencies because of poor diet, but also because chronic conditions and various medications such as aspirin and birth control pills can also lead to deficiency. Besides food, folic acid is also available as a supplement or part of a B-complex vitamin. Researchers at Harvard University have found that depressed people with low folate levels do not respond as well to antidepressants and taking folic acid in a supplement form can improve the effectiveness of antidepressants. It was also found that low folate and vitamin B12 linked to depression. Another supplement that's good for depression is 5-TP. 5-TP is produced naturally in the body and it is used to make the neurotransmitter serotonin. Although taken, 5-HTP in a supplement form may theoretically boost the body's serotonin levels, many experts feel that there is not enough evidence to determine the safety of 5-HTP. It should not be combined with any antidepressants. When it comes to diet, Reduce your intake of sweets. Sweets temporarily make you feel good as your blood sugar levels soar, but it may worsen your mood later when it plummets. Also, try to avoid caffeine and alcohol. Caffeine and alcohol both dampen mood. Alcohol temporarily relaxes us and caffeine boosts energy, but the efforts of both are short-lived. Both can worsen your mood swings, anxiety, depression, and insomnia. A vitamin that is actually helpful for depression is vitamin B6. Vitamin B6 is needed to produce the mood-enhancing neurotransmitters serotonin and dopamine. Although deficiency of vitamin B6 is rare, a borderline deficiency may occur in people taking oral contraceptives, hormone replacement therapy, and drugs for tuberculosis. Another supplement that's good for depression is magnesium. Most people do not get enough of magnesium in their diets. Good sources of magnesium are nuts, whole grains, and green vegetables. Like vitamin B6, magnesium is needed for serotonin production. Stress depletes magnesium. Also, try to incorporate exercise into your lifestyle. Regular exercise is one of the most effective and inexpensive ways to improve mood. Exercise, particularly aerobic exercise, releases mood-elevating chemicals in the brain and can decrease stress hormones. One of the best options to get rid of the blues is to take a brisk walk outside each morning for at least 30 minutes, five days a week. But what's important is that you choose something that you enjoy and that you will stick to with whether if it's going out to the gym, signing up for a dance class, playing tennis, or gardening. Also consider some light therapy. Getting enough of sunlight has been shown to be effective for seasonal mood changes that happen in the darker winter months. Exposure to light in the morning helps the body sleep, wake cycle work properly. Production of serotonin, a brain chemical that is key in influencing our mood, is turned on in the morning upon exposure to light. During the winter, when there is less sunlight, serotonin levels can drop, making us feel tired and prone to seasonal affective disorder, which is called SAD, S-A-D. 
One of the simplest ways to increase your exposure to light is to walk outdoors in the morning. Just be sure to use sunscreen to protect your skin from ultraviolet light. Another option is to use special lights that stimulate natural daylight. Studies have found that they are effective. These lights can be found online. They are different types available from light boxes to visors, which are typically used for 20 to 30 minutes a day. Look for lights with a minimum of 3000 LUX. Many experts suggest 10,000 LUX. Although they are rather expensive, ranging from 150 to 500, they may be covered by insurance. And my last two suggestions are yoga and acupuncture. These two alternative therapies have been very successful for helping people who suffer from depression. I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, don't forget to subscribe to the Complete Herbal Guide channel and like this video. To stay connected with me, follow me on Instagram and Twitter at the underscore herbal guide. Thank you, and I'll catch up with you in our next video.